We've got a very generational exhibition here, contributed by 20 plus artists. We've got young youth who are expressing themselves here in the way that they commemorate the 500 Cook Island soldiers. My name is Wang Sayok Tali and um, this is my art piece that I've printed onto my t-shirt. I put them into the Lava Lava to show that their culture is still with them when they go overseas and also the necklace pieces, the tooth of the boar, but also wearing the World War I gears as in boots, gas masks and the helmets. My name is Te Pairuariki French and this is my piece, Atinga A. It is a collaborative work between myself and Hili Mokalein. Along with the piece I also did a performance and that was a tribute to the piece and it is a um, morning dance and the sacrifice of putting the lei on the carving. My work is called Okimai Okimai which means come, come back or return return. It's got a real trench map from Belgium, a scene. There was a huge battle there and with my artwork it's just portraying life, not death. Just outside the library there is a World War I soldier sculpted and that's actually a, a point where all the soldiers used to go um, and just be based around there before they actually were shipped off to go off to war. We had the Pukapuka young men with RSA from Devonport ex-servicemen who reenacted 100 years ago when our young men were sent off to um, war. We got a lot of heart for our family, we got a lot of heart for our island and marching alongside the servicemen and marching in front of them, performing for them was a bit of an honour. Uh, we don't really know what they were doing back then but as they looked at us and they watched with excitement just bring joy to us and our community. The, the war chant was so relevant, it was just that whole thing of building courage into a place that they actually have no idea where they're going to. It was actually giving them courage as a unified force. Um, so that's them bringing their ancestors into the place of the unknown. I just felt real overwhelmed and just in my head I was just thinking, oh my gosh, like this is my brother. I'm sending my brother off to war, I don't know what he's going to do. I got no way of contacting him and so kissing them goodbye for the last time, like you may never see them, yeah, just really overwhelming and pretty sad as well. And they just did this beautiful dance to Awitakutani, which was sung by Willie Krama and Annie Krama. And um, that's so important, that song, because Awitakutani was saying goodbye to my love, my, my husband, um, the, the man I love, who I long for. And so it's a really strong, beloved song. When our Kukana people hear this, it's, it has a really deep and meaningful um, significance for us. With my artwork, none of the uh, images have eyes. It was my idea of blind faith. They were giving up their lives, leaving the country for adventure and also towards danger. I think it's really important for us to know because as the generations get older, the history starts to fade, but these kind of events draw us into knowing more about our culture and what our history is all about. This group of artists were actually um, shoulder taps. I just kind of tapped them and said, look, um, we have no budget, but what I'm asking you is that if you would bring passion, time and creativity, um, and contributing and honouring these 500 men that um, sacrificed their lives and um, fought for our freedom and so that we can have our, stronger, our culture strong in the Cook Islands um, as of today. So um, yeah, this is really evident right here, right now.